Welcome back. This is A Level Computer Science 961 Paper 4, and today in this video, we are going to understand about Big O notation. Okay, <clears throat> Big O notation. The letter O is used to because the growth rate. Uh, it's the Big O notation is uh, you know is talking about the time complexity. and space complexity okay so whenever we talk about time complexity it's uh, we are talking that how much time does it does the algorithm takes to execute it to execute the instructions okay so we need to take care of these resources in order to make sure that our that our program is very efficient and it's uh, it's and it's running very smoothly and it doesn't lag or it, no, it and it is not wasting that much memory okay so we need to take it into account we need to use this properly we need to understand how time complexity works and how says how space complexity works so uh, we always we always try to make sure that we are prepared for the worst case scenario which is when you are having a very large data set okay the letter O is used because the growth rate of a function is also referred to as order of the function, depending on you know the number of the number of code that you're writing it to. Describe the performance or complexity of an algorithm. Okay, it's talking about the algorithm, the performance, and the complexity, relation to time taken, relation to memory used. Describe the worst case scenario. So there are so many types of time complexity. Number one is O1. It means that it always takes the same time. To perform the task number two is on this is when you are putting an iteration like putting a for loop or a while loop something like that time to perform the task will grow linearly in direct proportion to n which is number of items and it's applicable in, in linear search we will discuss this linear search that you know linearly searching for our data for the for the desired data in the array or in the list okay O n square is involves nested iterations, for loop and, and, and another for loop, for loop of a for loop. Okay, that's where you have n square. Time to perform the task will grow linearly in direct proportion to the square, to the square split iteration. It works in bubble sort and in search and sort. We will discuss about these sortings later on. There's you know there's double iteration in bubble sort and there's also double iteration in, in search and sort as well. Then moving on, we have two of power n. This is mostly used in recursion. The time to uh, the time to perform the task doubles every time they, the algorithm use an extra item of data. Recursive calculations. Okay. Then we have O log n, and this is the best. It's 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 very uh, it's quite a good complexity time complexity. Okay. So each comparison has half the data set. So the time to increase by a smaller amount and approaches constant time. Which means this one is really good, and it works in binary search because whenever you try, whenever you, you know you have a big array and you just trying to search it, and then you just uh, do a complete half and leaving the rest and focusing on here, and then half, half, half like that. Okay, so that's why this is a com the complex is the complexity is log n. Then we have space complexity. Okay, so all of these are done. Space complexity is there are two at, at least uh, in your syllabus. O of, uh, o of 1 describes an algorithm that always uses the same space to perform the task. O of n is the uh, space to perform the task will grow linearly in direct proportion to n. Okay. So that's space complexity. Okay. So how should we know that which, which, com which time complexity is the best by putting a value. For example, if you put here, it would be 100. If you put in here, it would be more like 100 multiplied 100, which would be quite a lot. If you put 2 of power 100, then it would be much larger than this. Because if you just multiply by, then you'll get how much? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. But if, if you have this, then 2 of power 100 is very, very huge number. It's a very bad time complexity recursion. It's very bad. This is good at some point. This is uh, it's this one is better than this one. This is very good because if you put log to hundred, you will get at least uh, you know six point six four something like that. So this one is really really good. It's a quite good time complexity. See, 
okay so this is a uh, big notation time complexity in space complexity thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, in the next video we will start with sorting uh, linear search uh, bubble sort and search sort by new search etc thank you so much